on this vote. The, the, are the United States Congress has managed to avert another federal government shutdown for now. The, the bill, bill is passed. passed. As the clock ticked toward the midnight deadline on Saturday, the House and Senate passed a so-called stopgap measure, which will keep the government funded for the next 45 days. The critical moment came when House Speaker Kevin McCarthy denied the demands of his party's hardliners, who wanted to pass a bill in the chamber with only Republican votes. Instead, a bipartisan bill passed with 209 Democrats and 126 Republicans in support. At least one GOP hardliner had said his group could consider removing McCarthy from his role as the House Republican leader over his actions. You know what, if somebody wants to remove because I want to be the adult in the room, go ahead and try. But I think this country is too important. However, McCarthy did cave to pressure from House conservatives to drop funding for Ukraine. Democrats agreed to avoid a shutdown first. The top House Democrat, minority leader Hakeem Jeffries, called the bill's passage a win. The American people have won. The extreme MAGA Republicans have lost. He urged Congress to bring back discussions on aid for Ukraine soon. Members of the Senate echoed the sentiment, including top Republican Senator Mitch McConnell. I'm confident the Senate will pass further urgent assistance to Ukraine. An entirely avoidable government shutdown would not just pause our progress on these important priorities, it would actually shut them back. As the bill was sent to the U.S. president to sign into law, Joe Biden also stressed the need to continue supporting Ukraine. But in a statement, he also called its passage good news, saying it was, quote, preventing an unnecessary crisis that would have inflicted needless pain on millions of hardworking Americans. Lawmakers now have the next 45 days to come up with a long-term solution or risk a shutdown again.